All right, guys, the parents are out by themselves. <laughs> no kids. Party time. <laughs> What's up guys, we are Adventure Endeavor. Thanks so much today for joining us on this video. We are full-time RVers and have been on the road for four years and we recently booked an Airbnb in the Flagstaff area and did a ton of exploring. That's what this video is gonna be all about today is sharing our experience, showing you some cool areas and most of all, just having a good time. We hope you like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm basically a modern day Indiana Jones. <laughs> first stops on this week-long trip was Walnut Canyon National Monument. It's just on the eastern side of Flagstaff. The perfect shelter. For each room tucked into this rock alcove, nature provided the back wall, floor, and leak-proof ceiling. No excavation needed. Builders simply laid up unshaped blocks of limestone for side walls and closed the front and opened their doorway to the canyon. You got a low bridge, dear? Mm -hmm. This is You're so totally crazy. <laughs> Melissa and myself were talking about it. It seems like it's all on the same level when you look like all the way across. For some reason, there's a big overhang. Yeah, like obviously this layer of rock up here was definitely firmer and harder. So as the softer rocks below it eroded, it created this like perfect little cave-like shape for people to build their houses. Mm -hmm. I'm basically a geologist, guys. Yeah, some of them were yeah. repaired because of vandalism, but overall, yes, yeah, they should be intact. And All right, so we've never been here before, but it seems as though it's freaking sweet, obviously, but the snow adds a whole new element to it. Um, there's enough on the ground that just kind of makes it look very pretty. And maybe it's because we're from Southern California. I don't know, but I would highly recommend it with some snow on the trail. It's pretty cool. So back when the Sanagua people lived here, this was a seasonal river that flowed through this canyon. Uh, it's completely dry now. Um, all of the water has been taken by the city. But it talks about the quest for water uh, that the people had to endure when they were living here. So there was a lot of snow melt from the spring thaw um, and it talks about how the shaded pools held the water after the flow ebbed and they had to store large quantities of water for the drier months in the summertime. So the Sanagua people were extremely smart. You can tell this is one of the homes here. Basically they enclosed the whole front making it nice and strong together and then they had separate divided rooms. You guys can tell by a lot of the rock it's completely carved out by wind and they had to do something to protect themselves from the wind. So they made doors out of animal husks and sticks as the frame and they left the bottom open just a small bit. And basically what happened is the wind would come in, they'd have their fire on the inside for warmth and then basically they left a hole at the top for the smoke to come out. So they're probably chilling in there. You probably just couldn't sit against the back wall because there was probably a flow of wind and air and smoke wow oh, pretty freaking cool wow that is really cool the azarvas are griswolding today we're gonna go cut down our own christmas tree in the coconino yeah. national forest right coconino yes so basically you could buy a permit they only allow so many um the one we got was like 17 dollars and 50 cents and it's for the williams ranger district uh the coconino forest and the Kalib 
I believe that's how you say it, forest, uh-huh. have many different districts. And that's what we got. So it's a 25 minute drive from the house and you have to be 200 feet from a road. You have to... Cut down the whole tree. The can't whole just tree. Cut down the top you can't of just one. top it. They don't want you just topping trees out there. Yeah. You have to... Um, no taller than 10 feet. And what's the other thing? 200 feet. Yeah, I said that. Oh, yeah. this, the stump uh, cannot be larger than six inches Sorry, in buddy, we're full. diameter. <laughs> so <laughs> We're not picking up that hitchhiker. <laughs> I used Onyx Off-Road to map out a few spots um, that we're going to go try to go and, and cut down a tree for Christmas. Never done it before, but definitely a, uh, I don't know, seems like a fun family thing to do in Flagstaff during the winter. Excited, maybe go a little sledding if there's no snow over there. Oh yeah, we brought sleds too, because you never know. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Woohoo! Dad, did you bring the saw? Oh, that'd be a good idea. Oh, the cardboard. Yeah, she's getting Lincoln out. Oh. <laughs> I'll go back. Oh. <laughs> Where's Chris? Chris is back. All right, let's buy more. Bye. <laughs> Oh, they're in the heat. <laughs> what about that one right there? Claire, you're in charge of the saw. Yeah. yeah. Do. You're the woodworker. I hand the saw to you. Show the viewers what the saw looks like. Oh, that one oh yeah. <laughs> that one bring, your dad's looking, standing right next to him. Looks pretty good. Bringing out the big guns. They're so bushy, though. I guess we could trim it more of like a pointy, right? Yeah. Uh oh, do you only bring one battery? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the stump's not six inches in diameter, so. <laughs> yeah! Are we doing a stun doodle? Yeah, a group photo. Yeah, group photo. All right, so we got the tree mounted on the truck. Good job, everyone. And now they insist on terrorizing Lincoln. <laughs> and putting him in this little sled that the house had. What do you think, Mom? What do you think, Mom? Uh, oh, Grandpa's gonna hit him with a snowball? No. Moving target. are out by themselves. <laughs> no kids. <laughs> Party time. All right, we've never done a coaster like this before. So this place is really cool. They have a full bar. They have tubing in the in the winter here. Obviously the roller coaster, they got a ton of TVs. They have food. They have, like I said, full bar, um, outdoor seating, fireplace, and of course the roller coaster. We're getting to the, t- oh wow, no, we're still going. We're going way We're still out. going. It said, uh, he told me we'll get up to 27 miles per hour. And uh, basically all you have to do is hold the levers down here and it will just make it so the brake is off the whole way. You don't have to steer or anything like that. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we're going way up to the top of the mountain. Wow, look behind us. Wow.
downtown Williams is definitely worth a cruise. There are so many shops and restaurants, it's still a pretty vibrant little town. Even though it's been bypassed by Highway 40, it's still very close to Highway 40. So it's not like some of the other Route 66 towns that have completely died. Um, it was apparently the last town in 1984 to be bypassed by the highway that was built. But there's a lot of really cool, more recent, I guess you would say, Route 66 history there. So not quite as old and, and dilapidated as some other areas on the old highway. We went to a couple of shops and there are a lot of bars and restaurants there. We stopped in to Historic Brewing Company um, who has really good craft beer. Uh, we got some wings, some pizza, some like Italian soup that was delicious. Uh, they've got like cheesy fries, uh, quite a good amount of food on the menu. Um, amazing craft beer from what we've heard, uh, really nice environment, definitely had a good time cruising around downtown Williams and would highly recommend it if you're ever in the area. Alright guys, so we are continuing the interesting things to do in Flagstaff video by leaving Flagstaff and going to Sedona. Um, Sedona is a really beautiful place. It is roughly 45 minutes, Lincoln, it's roughly 45 minutes south of Flagstaff. Uh, Lincoln is so sad. And we are going to go do a short hike and most likely get dinner. First, we are gonna enjoy the nice drive down 89 South, which is Oak Creek. It's very beautiful. It's very turny. It's got a lot of turns. You don't wanna bring your RV down this road. And then we are gonna do Sunset, Sunset View. I can't even talk. It's called Sedona Trail. And then we're gonna go eat somewhere. But anyways, ignore me. I don't really know what I'm saying. Sedona View Trail. It's a 1.4 mile hike, about 250 feet of elevation gain. You can park at the airport parking lot uh, and it was like three bucks for the entire day. Which is nice because the other one was completely full. So we're gonna enjoy this beautiful hike and take you guys with us. After our hike, we found our way to Talaki Paki Arts, Culture, and Shopping Complex. Talaki Paki, meaning the best of everything, has been a significant Sedona landmark since the 1970s. Its vine-covered, thick stucco walls, cobblestone walkways, and arched entryways give you the feeling that Talaki Paki has been here for centuries. a snow bowl. Uh, we didn't really find a good sledding area on the way up. Because there's there's signs all over the place, so we might have to get creative. There's signs the saying that down. there's no parking at any of the good sledding spots, so apparently they don't want you sledding. You don't want you having any fun. Yeah, right, Cub? No fun. Um, but we've never been here before. It's pretty small, but it seems very cool. We do snowboard. Obviously, we're not snowboarding this time. I think it's about 120 bucks to, to get a lift ticket for the day. Ooh. Um, well, we came up here with a family, a uh, 20 degree temperature swing. Mm -hmm. So down in Flag it was like 50, up here it's like 33, a little less than 20 degree swing, but 
something to be aware of. It's cold as heck right now. Pretty significant change. Yeah, Lincoln's wearing his snowsuit and his hat. He's uh, pretty good so far. It's just nice to come up here and see this. You no, know, there wasn't a lot of snow down in town this week, so nice to see some actual snow on the runs up here. No, yeah, probably just grab a, the grab a drink and then uh, probably head back down. Yeah. Maybe go downtown, it's like. So we did not have much luck today with the sledding excursion. The ski mountain was shutting down as we were getting there because it was too windy at the top. Too cold because there was a big storm rolling in. So what we decided to do instead is cruise around downtown Flagstaff because there are tons of bars and restaurants right in the heart of downtown. A lot of old historic buildings. So just kind of cruising around, doing a little food tour and a beverage tour. We've stopped in at McMillan's and we are now on the hunt for another place for food and drinks. Brother made it out, no problem. It's funny, they called for one to three inches. Uh, I think they misjudged. Could tell by the ram that, I mean, that's, you're getting close to a foot up there now. So it's gonna be interesting, y'all. We're here for the day. Uh, we are literally just hanging out. It's kind of what the roads look like. It's hard to tell, but that's black ice right there. It's just a sheet of ice. They plowed the neighborhood, which is convenient. It's definitely a winter wonderland. Slip on the ice. I want to get one of those viral videos. I'm kidding. Don't. Don't. Don't you dare. Ready to roll. What a wonderful. Whoa. What a wonderful Christmas.